so much talk about greatness sticks that um, I had done a blog on and a lot of people have been inspired by the greatness sticks that I use so I wanted to show you guys how to do greatness sticks as well as a couple other greatness activities it's funny kind of like similar to sand tray therapy once you start doing a lot of sand tray therapy you begin to think in miniatures and always thinking about different interventions I think that's the coolest thing about the work that we do as play therapists that we are in such a creative space and we have all these creative little minds that are constantly soaking into the playroom that um, we're so energized by them and get so many great ideas from them as well. So I wanted to share with you some of my greatness sticks and some of you guys already know about the greatness sticks. My greatness sticks were really inspired from my training at the uh, Nurtured Heart Approach. I'm a certified trainer uh, for the Nurtured Heart Approach that Howard Glasser, uh, basically it's his baby. And um, it really inspired me in terms of how do we do more in terms of building kids, what Howard will say, inner wealth, and uh, really some of that resilience for them. So one of the things that has been so great are these greatness sticks. So these were basically used from um, the list that I got at the CTI training. So there are things like, you could see, polite, we have forgiving, we have encouraging, and basically what we will do is that we'll put them in the sand tray, and then the, with each one, we'll say, which one of these, which one of these qualities do you think you have? And for some kids, and especially teens who could be hard on themselves, it's really hard for them to think of any. They're like, I can't think of any qualities. So then a parent will come in uh, as well and say, well, let's, let's talk about some of these qualities. And what are some of the qualities that you see in you? And then they may put their miniatures in of them. And then they may say, well, what qualities do you see in your parent? And then they'd put some in the sand tray for them. And also we would use a miniature to describe and represent each person. So we would do that in the sand tray. Then what came about from a client, the minds of our little ones, is that this client basically made their own greatness sticks and wrapped it up as a birthday gift to open on their birthday. So I thought, oh my goodness, what a fantastic idea. So I've been doing that when kids' birthdays have been coming up, as well as when there is a termination. I have these awesome rainbow popsicle sticks. And since in my sessions, the kids know all about their greatness because we use the greatness sticks all the time. They may use it within their sand trays. They may use it within their play. Carla Sharp at the Play Therapy Summit introduced me to uh, the Build a House intervention. Even before the Build a House intervention, kids would make houses and even put their greatness in there. So um, here are a bunch of sticks, and the child will put what makes them great. What are some of their qualities? So it could be smart or brave, and they take them all. And once they're all written down, then we wrap them up. And of course, the bow that I have right here is filled with little hearts. So I have a heart bow. And then we wrap it up, and I also got boxes. I'm out of them right now from the dollar store. And here's a little bow of their greatness sticks. And they often do not want to open it until their birthday of showing all their greatness. Then what I do is I give the parents a handful of sticks to take home and for them to put into this little bundle so when the child is opening them, not only is it their qualities of greatness that they have thought of for themselves, it's all the things the parents will put in in terms of their greatness qualities. So this kids love this, and it's so wonderful because it's really coming from them and the idea that they're giving a birthday present to themselves. How wonderful is that? So other things. I had posted all my new dollar store finds and how much I love these little containers and thought, oh, these containers are great for building a safe container and for EMDR and to be used for grief. But then I was like, wow, how great would it be to have this container for greatness stones? So 
we have the container. I get a lot of these stones at the dollar store, and then I write on them with Sharpie. So this one is, oh, it looks upside down. Jeez. Oh, wait, hold on here. Is brave. So maybe we would put the brave stone on in. And this one is loving. So we'd put the loving stone in. So this one is smart. And as they're putting it in, I am smart when I do, you know, I, I, a situation could be, you know, I was really brave when mom and dad left me at a birthday party. I could have cried, I could have screamed, I could have ran after them, but I didn't. I was brave and I stayed there and I had a really good time. So ways of really being able to lengthen it, just not just I'm smart, I'm brave, I was smart because I made a really good decision problem solving or that I'm really good at math and this is how the teacher saw me as a hard worker. Um, so I love this. So we can fill this. I also have a bunch of these stones from the dollar store that I love, just these little blue stones that you could put in as well. And then they have all of their greatness in here. You could use it with stones or you can even use it with seashell. So on the seashell, you could write all of the greatness qualities. I'm energetic. I'm loving. I'm smart. I'm funny. And uh, you can have a whole seashell basket. Uh, if they'll fit, you have to get ones that fit. And they go in here. And then it's pretty cool. And I love the idea. I'm always such an advocate of having families involved. So for everybody to put stones in and things that even make the family great, and then they could just hang it. They could hang it anywhere. They could hang it outside, they, and they can decorate it. They could use Sharpies and different things to decorate this. So I love this. Um, I'm going to do a YouTube video, basically, of all of my different greatness activities, because I do greatness, act, um, greatness bouquets and greatness scales of really looking at there's so much more greatness than there is negative, and although we have things that are hard, the greatness often takes over of all the things that we know that kids are great so much more of the time than they're not. But sometimes that one incident can make things spiral and they're stuck in that than being able to reset, put that on the table, it was a mistake. We learn from mistakes and we move on and let's look at the things that the child is doing well. If you look in the back, you'll see a mirror. So what we'll often do, even in terms of the qualities that they pick on their stick, they'll say it. So this one is, some of these are bigger ones for older kids, um, kind-hearted. So they would read it and they'd say kind-hearted. And then they would look in the mirror and they would say, I am kind-hearted when. Hi, AJ. Thanks for tuning in um, and being able to not only do these recognitions, but to be able to do these recognitions in front of a mirror is really powerful. And you just basically watch these kids. It's almost as if this beautiful energy is coming out of them when these are kids who have never really been able to see themselves as great, who are often told no to all the time, who have felt a lack of control in terms of their impulses, kids who are really hard on themselves, and being able to recognize, wow, look at all this greatness. Look at all these, all these beautiful things that are within you. And you really see such a difference within these children and their self-esteem and their resilience of being able for them to know, like, as Howard Glasser will say, these challenging kids, they're not good, they're great, and recognizing their greatness. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to do a YouTube video soon, but I hope that these greatness... Oh, one more greatness thing. Sorry, guys. I do a lot of things of making head uh, barrettes and headbands with kids. I don't know if anybody remembers back in the 80s. Um, the braided uh, barrettes and headbands. So I did this. I actually had a business of building kids' self-esteem through braiding barrettes and headbands. So we will do this as a greatness headband or a um, or basically a bravery headband as well and for the kids to be able to leave the playroom and wearing it. And they could even write their greatness on their headband. And then it goes from their head to their brain, to their heart. So thank you guys for tuning in and have an awesome Labor Day weekend. Bye.